We started out seven and a half years ago with 12 people in a study group, and since then we've evolved up to over 300 people involved in this ministry. And what it's all about, what we found is families living in the Wildwood, Florida, in horrible, deplorable, substandard living conditions. And what we've done is we've said, what can we do to help them? Well, we went, went to go out to just do a few repairs, and we ended up by saying, you can't fix this place where they live. It's in deplorable condition, and children, children are living in that. And it got to the point where they almost were taken away from the parents because there was no running water and the place was in such terrible condition. So we decided, let's tear it down, let's bring in a used mobile home, and our ministry is to not only replace the mobile home, renovate it, bring in furniture, appliances, bring in linens, food, put the family back in it after a wonderful dedication. The value of these properties are about $45,000, and what we've done, we've said, we have a pay it forward program. They pay us $15,000, going forward for future generations for families that we do. So we are now expanding not only helping families, that we continue to help them through a mentorship program so we always stay with them. We can go back to the very first family and we can walk into their house and welcome them totally and we can find out what their needs are and stick with them. Now, in addition to that, since we have excess supplies and materials and furniture and fixtures, we can then bring in a thrift store and take funds from a thrift store and then do other ministries with that. Let's go shopping! Let's go shopping! There, there's so much to say up here. There's no little, there's too little time to really to explain how, in your heart how you really feel about this. But we've turned a dream, a vision uh, into a reality. Uh, you, you all remember those buildings. Uh, Daryl can remember those buildings over there when you looked at and he came over and he scratched his head like, you want to renovate these buildings? You bought these buildings? Uh, <laughs> in fact, a lot of other people, I think Pastor Harold said, you bought these buildings? <laughs> so, but I'll tell you, uh, they are beautiful storage facilities for Helping Hands Ministry in the church. Uh, incredible what we've done with the bargains and blessings of what Mel and Sharia put together here, I mean, it's going to be a, just a beautiful, beautiful two buildings that we've really helped the community of Wildwood big time. Where are we going to go with this? Where are we going to go the next generation here? Well, first of all, with bargains and blessings, you know, we're going to generate funds from that. I mean, this is a thrift store. There are donations coming in free, and we have over 140 volunteers with free labor. There's no bonuses here now, keep that in mind. But there's free. So we ought to make some money. First of all, we've got to pay down a pretty sizable debt that we have for these buildings. But secondly, and most importantly, we're going to generate funds not only to support the Helping Hands Outreach Ministry, but also to really create new ministries, outreach ministries, for this community, for the communities in the Tri-County area. Because I think we can do an awful lot. Uh, we want to connect. We want to connect with this community. Uh, our church has a, a vision, uh, also a goal, a strategic goal, to systemically help you know, the Wildwood community. And we want to be part of that to connect, to help families improve their lives. And we can do that. And we ended up with all this wonderful merchandise for our store, not clothes, but racks and things we needed to Shells set the store up with that really added to the store and gave us a step up to have a nice, beautiful, uh, welcoming, warm place for people to come. And it's a Christian place, so we pray every day in the morning and have devotion with our volunteers. Um, we are uh, together, we do teams. So each day has a team and a team leader. Um, that is going to work very well, I think. We alternate weeks, uh, one to three and two to four, and, the, and that way people can switch off with each other, which makes subbing less difficult. We're getting out of the boat with lots of things and trying new things that other thrift stores have never done. Hopefully we feel it will give us some wonderful experiences and results. The donations first go to Helping Hands Homes, 
where we take care of the families first and then anything else left over we bring into the store and resell it and any items that are not used up we also have uh, another part of the ministry which is really giving away everything else so every item that we get in as a donation is given or used for the glory of God. None of this would be uh, possible without the support and um, partnering um, uh, through the United Methodist Foundation. They have been a wonderful support this dream. Um, they've been supportive of helping us build a brand new uh, worship center at church. And so this is just another way that we've been able to partner with the United Methodist Foundation extremely supportive of our dream. So I appreciated them thinking outside the box with us to be able to create a beautiful opportunity to have more people